Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book on tape to play for you. Today's book is Clifford's and Given Visions from 1993. So let's get started. The name of this book is Clifford's Thanksgiving Visit. Story and Pictures by Norman Bridwell. You can read along with us. Just turn the page each time you hear this sound. Now let's begin. Hi, my name is Emily Elizabeth. My dog Clifford and I have a lot of fun on Halloween. Then as soon as Halloween is over, we start looking forward to Thanksgiving. Last Thanksgiving, my family flew away to visit my grandma. Clifford had to stay home. Our neighbors took care of him. They were very kind, but Clifford got lonely. He thought about his own family. His father, his sisters Bonnie and Claudia, his brother Nero. They all live in different places. Most of all, Clifford thought about his mom. He decided to spend Thanksgiving with her. She lives in the city. Early Thanksgiving morning, Clifford started out. It was easy. There weren't many cars. But as he got near the city, there were a lot of cars. Everybody seemed to be going to see their moms. Some drivers were in a hurry. They bumped into Clifford. Clifford came to a bridge. There were no cars on it. They had all stopped. Clifford wondered why. Soon he found out it was a drawbridge, and it was opening right under Clifford. He loves 
his mom, but as soon as he could, he hurried home. So did I. Because I am thankful for Clifford, and he is thankful for me.
cheer Clifford up, I told him about the very first Thanksgiving, about how the pilgrims wanted to be free to worship as they pleased, and how they sailed from England on the Mayflower way back in 1620. They landed on Plymouth Rock in our own state of Massachusetts and learned how to hunt and harvest corn. Their Native American neighbors, the Indians, were very helpful and friendly. And they came to the Pilgrims' first big feast when they gave thanks for a good harvest and a brand new life. You know what I was thinking? Suppose Clifford had sailed with the Pilgrims. Imagine how helpful he would have been on that dangerous trip. I know. Let's all pretend that Clifford did sail with the Pilgrims. It's only make-believe, so let's call our story Just Imagine. Ready? Just Imagine. The boat is sinking fast. The Pilgrims watch the rising waves. How can the Mayflower last? The deck is full of water. It's the finish of our trip. It's Davy Jones's locker for us pilgrims and our ship. But Clifford's taking action. Look, he's leaping off the boat. He shakes it till the deck is dry. Our vessel's now afloat. Our thanks we give to Clifford. Shout hip hip and just loves pretending that he was on the Mayflower. <laughs> just imagine, no food is left to eat. The cupboard's bare, the fruit's all gone, and not one slice of meat. We'll never see the land again, we'll never reach the shore. We pilgrims have grown weaker cause our tummies are so sore. But Clifford's taking action. Look, he's leaning off the rail. He comes back up, and what's he got? A tuna by the tail. Our thanks we give to Clifford. No hunger pains today. That dog of dogs, that dog of steel. Brave Clifford, save the day. Making believe it's fun. Just imagine, for months they've been afloat. The pilgrims cry, we've spent too long aboard this creaky boat. This fog and rain are endless. Is the way we're going right? How can we tell when every day it looks as dark as night? Clifford's watching closely, see him searching high and low. Then suddenly he spots a rock, his bark that means land ho! What luck that we had, Clifford, at last the ship can dock. That dog of steel, he saw land first, we'll name it Clifford's Rock. Oh, how 
is still the greatest family holiday ever, isn't it, Clifford? <laughs> Can all of you guess what my big red dog wants to do next Thanksgiving? Good for you. Clifford wants to give the biggest and the best Thanksgiving feast ever for his own family. I wish all of you could come, because you're very much a part of Clifford's family, too. I wish, I wish we could all make a dash for Clifford's big bash. Right, Clifford? <laughs> Clifford says sure, and we both say happy Thanksgiving and goodbye for now. So that was Clifford's Thanksgiving Vidgets for 1993. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. But I have another video coming out real soon.